Hey guys, James here from Big Block Blu-ray. Today I just wanted to do my first ever vlog or vlog or whatever you want to call it. Just had some topics I wanted to talk about. There's going to be no editing. This is going to be raw and uncut. And, um, you know, it's just going to be some things I wanted to talk about. Let me know if you guys like these types of videos. Um, I know, you know, we all do the uh, Blu-ray updates. And we all do the unboxings and reviews and all that kind of stuff, the trips and all that. And I love doing all those. Um, it was, you know, it's a lot of fun. I like uh, communicating with you guys. But today I just wanted to do a little vlog here, talk about some things, and uh, get your opinion on some things and uh, just have a little discussion. So first I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for subscribing to my channel. I hit I hit 50 subscribers today. I think it's actually around 52 or 53 now. And um, <clears throat> I've only been on YouTube for a couple of months now. And um, I, I love it. You know, I love that you guys get to to go on the journey with me, uh, building my collection. Um, as you can see, you know, I got an extra shelf and it looks pretty bare right now. <laughs> Just because um, when I started this YouTube channel, I only had about 50 Blu-rays. And they're mostly MRA titles, which I have up behind those steel books. And um, they were just regular titles. And, and I have a bunch of DVDs, but I uh, my dad's actually a truck driver. And so I gave them to him. Um, they're in a binder. And I threw away all my old cases because I, I, di I didn't really start collecting until recently. And um, so I threw all that stuff away. I put them all in a big CD binder. I gave them to my dad, and he's on the road watching them. So... Um, when you watch this, Dad, shouts out. Love you. And um, so anyway, um, I'm glad that you guys get to go on this journey with me to building my Blu-ray collection. I want to say thank you to my wife for supporting me. Um, you know, she's supporting me as I spend, you know, dollar after dollar buying these movies. And um, she's, you know, she's she's great. You know, she's my support. So I love her. She um, helped me film the last video I did with the uh, tutorial. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Um, I did a steelbook tutorial, how to do the inside artwork. So I wanted to say thanks for hitting the 50 subscribers. Um, I think I'm going to have my first contest when I hit 100 subscribers. That seems like the thing to do, so I'll probably do that. Um, thank you for the, su the support on the tutorial. You know, a lot of people wrote in and, and said, you know, thank you, and especially on the Blu-ray forum, you know, they said that was the best tutorial they've seen, and, um, you know, it's going to help out a lot of members who want to you know, do artwork for their own steel books. So that's really cool. I'm glad to give back. You know, I'm glad to help you guys out. You know, it feels good knowing that, you know, you guys can get uh, some helpful information out of it. I don't know what happened there at six minutes to six and a half minutes. One of my clips, um, I guess when it uploaded, it didn't upload right. So it's just a green screen. So, you know, I guess that's just part of it. I, I, I stayed up for three hours almost to one o'clock in the morning Saturday editing that video trying to make it perfect and I probably watched it 10 times you know and it's a 12 minute video and uh, it seemed like it was worked fine you know and then I clicked the upload button and let it go and uh, you get what you get you know so I just want to go over some few topics um, my first topic is did you got I, I know a lot of you guys are Walking Dead fans and did you check out that last episode because wow that was uh, that was an emotional roller coaster there and I think I think we needed that, you know, um, uh, the Walking Dead series, for me, this season has gotten kind of stale, and I think that was the jolt, you know, that we needed to get back on track, you know, um, I know they're doing a lot of character developing uh, this season, and uh, my favorite season personally was the first season, I loved how they went to a different location almost in every episode, you know, one one episode they were in the city. One episode, you know, uh, they were in the country. One episode they were um, uh, at the CDC, you know, and all that. So I really like that, you know. And then the next following seasons, you know, the whole second season they're on the farm, the whole third season uh, they're on the prison, the whole fourth season, you know, so or Woodbury, and then the prison. Um, so I just, you know, I I don't know. I, I kind of like the first season the best, but uh, don't get me wrong. I mean, I really like I really like the show and. I want to know what you guys think about that last episode. I mean, it was pretty heart wrenching. Um, you know, it almost had me, almost had me, uh, you know, getting a little emotional. So I think that was cool. Um, I'm glad, you know, they got back to some grittiness. Uh, next couple of things I want to talk about was just a few complaints I have, a few little gripes. Um, 
you know, we live in a community in our house and, and, and we don't have, we don't have mailboxes at the end of our street. Now my parents' house, you got your own mailbox, you walk out to the end of your driveway, you get your mail, you know, and in this community we live in, they have a big thing at the front of the neighborhood, like an apartment complex. And you get these little, you know, maybe six inch wide slots for your mail to go in. Now this is an exciting thing. Um, you know, I'm gonna do another Blu-ray update video at the end of the month, and you know, as you can see, I've got uh, quite a few pickups, and I've got some more over there to share with you guys. But they had all four of those today jammed in my mailbox, and you know, I know the mail people don't know what's in there, and they, you know, they don't know that we're collectors and all that. But I just, you know, it just it just really bothers me how I don't have my own mailbox. And these guys, you know, they just jam stuff in there and try to get it in there. And it's just like, what, what is going on? So anyway, I hope none of that stuff is damaged. Um, it looks like most of it's packaged pretty well. I mean, this one's got, you know, some damage on the box and everything. But I mean, what can you do, you know? But anyway, we'll see when I unbox all of it and uh, show you guys what, you know, what else I got. Like I said, I love that you guys get to come with me on this journey, you know, filling up these cabinets and and uh, increasing my blu-ray collection and becoming a uh, you know having quite a collection i know most of the guys on youtube um, already have these massive collections you know and so it's like you know how you know what do you add to it you know it's like man you know of course everything's coming out you know each week there's new stuff coming out and that's cool so but i'm glad that you guys get to actually watch you know as i build my collection and i get to share it with you and um, i'm glad you're on this journey Another complaint I had is I got, you know, a $5 Blu-ray here, right? $5, Best Buy. It's on sale right now. It's a great movie. You got these stickers, right? <clears throat> and this one is on the outside of the plastic. Makes perfect sense, right? You unwrap the plastic. No stickers. Your movie's fine. Then we get a $30 3D Blu-ray with a lenticular cover it looks awesome, you know. And what do they do? They slap the sticker on the cover. So, can you know, you guys comment below. Let me know how do you how do you get that off? You know, do you just leave them on, or you know, I don't want to put goo gone on there. I don't want a chance messing up the you know lenticular slip. So I don't know what to do. You know, it's like I mean, I tried peeling it, and then it just left the glue behind. So I mean. It looks terrible, and I'm just like, this is a $30 Blu-ray. You know, it's one movie, $30, and then you're going to ruin, like, practically ruin them with these stickers? Like, what are you doing? So I know, like, you know, not everyone cares that's not, you know, collector, but, I mean, come on. Like, it's common sense. You know, this is on the plastic. Take the plastic off, it's gone. No problem. Why would you put that on here? You know, I just, I don't get it. So, anyway, that's my little complaints. Sorry, you know, first world problems, you know. <laughs> I don't mean to, you know, be negative, but, I mean, just just let me know what you guys do in the comments. You know, uh, is there a way that you guys know how to get that off, or, you know, what can I do? Um, so, I mean, last but not least, like I said, you know, I've got a lot of packages um, I want to unbox for y'all. It's like Christmas every day, you know, it's fun. So I can't wait to do that. And, um... There's a lot of contests going out right now through YouTube. Um, make sure you guys get into them all. I know 4K Cinema just um, did it. Uh, he just um, started his 100 subscriber contest, so I'm going to be entering that here soon. And uh, he's a great guy. And um, so that, that that's cool. He, he actually gave me a shout-out in his video, and I appreciate it. Um, I, you know, Go to 4K Cinema if you haven't seen his channel yet and uh, subscribe to him. He's a great guy, does, you know, great videos, Blu-ray updates, and all that kind of stuff. So, thanks, brother. Um, and uh, other than that, that's all I had for my first vlog. Um, let me know, like I said in the comments, um, you know, any of the questions I posed or whatnot, and uh, hit me up. So, thanks for watching.